In this presentation, we will discuss capital expenditures and revenue expenditures and the difference between the two using a forklift as an example when we go through the demonstrations. So we have the capital expenditures and the revenue expenditures. And often the question is, should something be capitalized as a capital expenditure or should it be expensed as a revenue expenditure? In other words, what statement should the uh, expenditure go under? If it is a capital expenditure, it's going to go on the balance sheet. If it's a revenue expenditure, it's going to go on the income statement. If we think about something like our forklift here, the question is, if we do some maintenance to the forklift, is it a capital expenditure, is it something we should put on the balance sheet and then expense over time? Or is it something that we should uh, expense in year one? Should we put it on the balance sheet as we do with the forklift itself and expense the cost over some useful life? Or should we put it on the income statement and just expense it as it happens? Now, of course, the difference between those would be if we capitalize the expenditure, uh, something like putting a whole new engine in the forklift, for example, it would then go on the balance sheet. Whereas if we did some maintenance on the forklift, then we would put it on the income statement. And there's always going to be some question in terms of um, how much repairs and maintenance should be put on the, on the balance sheet and how much should be just expensed at the time of purchase. So expense recognition then would be deferred if we're talking about a capital expenditure, meaning we're not going to write off the expense at the point in time we have the expenditure. If we put a whole new engine into the forklift, then we're going to put it on the books as an asset as we did with the forklift itself and then expense it over its useful life, depreciate it over its useful life. And that means we're going to defer the expense uh, and we're not going to lower net income in year one it will be lowering net income in later years. Whereas if it's just a normal repair, then we can just write it off in this year. We can put it on the books as an expense on uh, the income statement, recognize it, and decrease net income. Note the different objectives we might have depending on whether uh, we're looking at it in terms of wanting to look good for our financial statements or in terms of taxes. So in, in terms of wanting to look good, we would probably want to put it on the books as a capital expenditure. And, and note that wanting to look good or not look good is not the, the reason for us putting it on one or the other. We're trying to make our financial statements as fair as possible. But sometimes it helps to, to look at some type of objectives that may be there in terms of do we want, how, do we, how would we look better? How would we look worse? When would someone want to look better or worse? If we're talking about looking better, to present our financial statements possibly for a loan or investment, we'd probably want it as a capital asset because then we'd have more assets and we wouldn't be decreasing net income at the point in time of purchase. If we wanted to look worse, probably for taxes, then we would want to recognize it as a revenue expenditure and, and expense it now, have basically a deduction, lowering net income, lowering therefore the taxes. When considering net income then, under the capital expenditure, it's going to be higher in at least the year of the expense, so at the year of the expenditure that we have, the payment that we make, the net income would be higher because we wouldn't be expensing it at the point in time we make the payment. We would be putting it on the books as an asset, as we did, for example, with the forklift itself. Whereas if we uh, were talking about a revenue expenditure, net income would then be lower. And again, you can kind of see how that would relate to taxes. If we were talking about taxes, we would rather have a lower net income. If we're talking about just looking good, we would rather have a higher net income. So we'd rather look good if we're trying to get investments or financing uh, the company. We would rather look worse uh, if we're trying to lower our taxes that we end up paying. From a tax standpoint, the capital expenditure would, would result in higher taxes because we have the higher net income. Now, of course, this results in year one having higher taxes uh, because we're not having anything on uh, the income statement except for depreciation. If it was depreciated during that time period, we're not uh, expensing the entire cost of it. Note that it is a timing difference, however, and then in later years, we're going to have uh, the capital expenditure have lower revenue because we're going to be depreciating that, that expenditure. But no, so it's going to work itself out over the time period, over the life of the asset. However, uh, for tax purposes, we would typically want to lower taxes early just because of the time value of money. So in the year of, of the expenditure, the year we make the payment, we're going to have higher taxes. 
And if we had a preference, we would rather have lower taxes now and typically higher taxes later if, if that's what had to happen rather than having higher taxes now and lower taxes later. That's just the uh, time value of money unless there's some other uh, factor involved, including tax rates going up or something like that in the future. And then we have, of course, the revenue expenditure resulting in lower taxes at the point in the time frame of the expenditure being made. So, and that is because we are expensing it at the point it's made. So this can run into a lot of like tricky areas in terms of, well, what should we do in this particular case? Is it something that's going to be a capital expenditure or is it something we can just write off an expense during this current time period? So to look at that, we consider generally ordinary repairs, which would be the revenue expenditures and the betterments and extraordinary repairs. And those would be the things like the capital expenditures. So things that you think of as normal repairs would typically just be expensed. So if you think of the forklift, you're thinking about things like maintenance on the forklifts. Uh, if it doesn't increase uh, the productivity of the forklift, does not extend the useful life, like an oil change or just normal maintenance on the forklift. That, those types of things that we're doing to the forklift is just to maintain it. It's not to change what it's doing. It's not trying to say that it's, it's now a forklift that can do more stuff than it did before. It's not a forklift that's extending the useful life. It's still normal maintenance to, to achieve the normal useful life that we had already calculated it to be. As long as that's the case, then we will typically just expense it, and, uh, and that'll be it. On the other hand, if it's a betterment and extraordinary repairs, then we're going to capitalize it. So that's going to be things like large overhauls. Um, so if we put a whole new engine into the forklift, then that you would think that that would extend the useful life and therefore be something that we should capitalize and not just be a normal expense uh, of the forklift. If it does extend the useful life beyond the original estimate, then that would typically be a sign that uh, we need to capitalize it because the original estimate when we bought the forklift said it had a useful life of, of so many um, time periods, so many years. Based on normal maintenance, if we do maintenance that is extraordinary, that's going to extend that useful life, then it is something that we should typically uh, capitalize. So if we have this forklift, then we're talking about revenue expenditures would typically be something like the oil change, maintenance, normal type of things just to get the forklift um, to its normal maintenance process, not things that are typically used in order to extend the life or have extraordinary betterment, betterments or to make the forklift be able to achieve something it was not originally purchased to do. And then if it's a capital expenditure, then maybe it's a complete overhaul. Maybe we uh, change the whole engine in it. Maybe we overhaul the forklift to have some job other than just being a forklift. We make it into uh, some other type of vehicle that can help us out with other type of operations. If that's the case, if it extends the useful life or changes the, the functionality of the fork, yeah, forklift in some way, some substantial way, then we would basically uh, want to capitalize the expenditure as we did with the forklift itself and then depreciate it over the useful life.